I'm Dominic and today I welcome you to the first ever and probably last ever episode of Make a Preach where I preach to you about something that's probably not that important but I hope that my delivery will make you watch it anyway because there is something, a symbol currently really popular that symbolizes what is wrong with the, the lives we're living. We're going around in circles, spinning faster and faster with no idea where we're going, chasing things that we think we want only to get bitten in the proverbial tail that we're also chasing as soon as we get what we want as it turns out because we didn't really want it or need it at all. Of course I'm talking about the symbol that is the fidget spinner. It's an evil thing symbolizing and glorifying the going around in circles, this treadmill that leads us nowhere and life should not be like this. Life should be going straight forward in a line, always up, always forward, advancing yourself and not looking at something in your hand that's spinning like you are spinning only because you feel a sense of kinship to it because it's spinning. Today I will be making something like a fidget spinner but completely different symbolizing how life should be, the struggle of always advancing, always going up, always going further. And I will only be using the drill press for this because to get somewhere you have to drill on. And I'm using this selection of bits because bit by bit you will get there too. I'm starting out with a very small prep point bit to mark the center of the coming piece on both sides. Then, also from both sides, I should have started with a larger Forstner bit, although on one side I start with a smaller. So I start with a larger bit and go a few millimeters down, so later I have something to register against with this bit. Then I use the center divot of that one to guide the smaller Forstner bit. Since I went the wrong way around on this side, I'm switching to a spade bit which has a longer center spur and can register against the center divot from the smaller bit. Next I use the hole saw to mark a circle. Then I use a pencil which is not technically a bit to mark a number of positions there which I then drill out using a larger, in this case 8 or 9 millimeter breadpoint bit. Once that is done, I again do it in the wrong sequence. I should have taken the hole saw and cut the piece out. What I did instead and what I should have done after cutting the piece out is taking the smaller Forstner bit and drilling through the thing and then taking the larger ones and drilling their holes as deep as the bearings are wide. And as you have seen, this is how a spinner should really work. It's hard work to spin it, but it's so rewarding. You're always going up, at least if you hold it like this. And you get a real sense of accomplishment once you get somewhere. There might be some logical flaws about this, but it's still a nice design. Or so I'm told to think. I made this in under 20 minutes from, well, a block of wood, a block of scrap wood. As you can tell, I did not finish it. It's the, the raw surface in here. It wouldn't have taken long to sand it down a little, but well, as we know, sanding is evil too. These bearings, they don't spin really fast, so it actually stops spinning as soon as I let go. But, well, they work for this application and I think they were intended to be used in jigs, but this is a jig, a really jiggly jig. And you can use it with different fingers. You can even, as you saw, use it with three fingers, which gets a little tricky, but, well, there's a challenge. I hope you enjoyed this build, and I think I should point out that it is to be taken with a grain of humor. I hope that was obvious. If it wasn't, you probably need to make one of those and climb up a little bit. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to my channel and share my videos if you enjoyed them. 
And as always, remember to be inspired. I'm almost there. I can almost reach it now. There we go. Oh, not yet. A little more. Just a little more. Wait for it. Wait for it. Uh, still a little longer. But you can see I'm definitely making progress.